So they've asked me to play uh, a song that I wrote uh, that is about cab drivers. I'll give you a quick uh, sort of crash course on what the song is about. I know you've listened to a lot of people. I'm probably the worst speaker of all of them. Um, so basically, we're musicians. We travel often. Um, and so I started talking to the people that would pick me up from the airport and take me to things like this. Uh, initially because it was awkward to not say anything to someone for 30 minutes. And then uh, it turned out they're usually pretty fascinating. So the two guys this song is about, one of them, I live in Nashville. I was flying uh, to the West Coast to play a show, and I had to get up really early. So I called the cab company, and I was like, can I get a cab here at 5.30? And they were like, yes. So the next day, at 5.15, I get a phone call, and this guy uh, is on the other end. He's like, hey, please don't rush. I just want you to know I'm here. It's like, that is super professional, and you are pretty early. Uh, and so I got in the car, and I'm trying to make conversation with him, and I'm like, what do you do for fun? He's like, I don't have a lot of time for fun. You know, usually uh, after my driving shift, I take night classes because I want to be a computer programmer, and I don't speak good enough English to do that. So I, I ask him another question. Like an idiot, I'm like thinking he's going to be like, and I play ping pong, and I'll be like, I love ping pong too. Um, and so I asked him, I was like, well, what do you, what do, you do after that? And he's like, well, you know, if my kids are still awake, I like to help them with homework. And I was just like, ugh. Because I, you know, was slightly frustrated. I had to get up at 4.45 or whatever to fly somewhere to sing songs for people. And meanwhile, uh, Danny has showed up super early, has ironed his dress shirt, and is having like the best day of all time for so, like no reward. Um, and so I realized guys like Danny don't have any fans and they should have fans. Way before I should have a fan, or anybody speaking should have a fan, Danny should have fans. So I wrote a song about it, and it's called The Men That Drive Me Places. And I hope you like it. Hollywood drives a minivan to the cruise ships from Fort Lauderdale And it's been that way since 1994 Does his business on a flip phone with the most obnoxious ringtones I didn't ask, I could tell, he's from New York He spoke proudly of his daughter And that this fall she'd be in college And that he always wished he got his degree You could tell he came from nothing Built a future out of hustling And somehow I'm the one you people pay to see Oh, isn't that just the way it goes You dealt a good hand And you get celebrated Oh, how am I the only Of the men that drive me places. Danny showed up early, 15 minutes till 5.30, making sure that I'd be on my morning flight. He said he'd love to fix computers, but that he can't until he's fluent. Spends his driving money taking class at night. He wore a neatly ironed dress shirt and he helps his kids with homework. And deep inside, I couldn't help but ask myself why that night I'm upon the stage. Everybody knows my name while Danny's early picking up somebody else. That just the way it goes You dealt a good hand You get celebrated Oh, how am I the only one Who knows I'm half a man Of the men that drive me places And 
Now everything's not given I work hard to make a living But I'll give credit where I think the credit's due Maybe you got dealt a good hand Maybe you play it the best that you can But I don't know how far I'd walk without those cars And Howard or Danny's working shoes That's just the way it goes You dealt a good hand And you get solid prey Are the men that drive me places Are the men that drive me places 